What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here. Today we're checking out Men of War 2, the second playtest. You guys know me, I'm a huge Men of War fan, and um, I've been excited for this game. The first playtest was multiplayer only, and it was absolutely terrible. This playtest, they have some campaigns for Men of War 2. So I wanted to try the single player, because I don't play Men of War series for the multiplayer at all. I like the, you know, versus AI and modding for it. Uh, this one I wanted to try out and see what it was like, if it could change my mind. But before we get started, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, CF Moto. If you're looking for an off-road four-wheeler, definitely check out CF Moto. CF Moto, 500 dealerships across the United States, been in business since 1989, and makes the American dream affordable. When it's time to get off the beaten path, there is no better way to explore than with CF Moto. So make sure you guys check them down in the description below. Without further ado, this is my time with the second Men of War playtest. Well, let's see how single player is, because that's all I really care about with the Men of War series. Graphically, it looks meh. Not really much of an upgrade from the old one. Reach the village of Kassam. Check the roadblock for landmines. Okay. It, Time to sir. take these dudes out. We'll take a... We'll just take a squad out and see what's up. Right through. Yes, okay. Sir. You in the meantime can sit here and not get in the way. Voice yes, acting 10 out of 10 so far. Okay, cool. Jokes, of course. What? You're telling me these guys can't climb up this? This? You can't climb over that? What is this, Tarkov? Oh my god, pathing is, is amazing. Well, something tells me they're not going to be able to go down this either. Oh my god, they have to go all the way back. Oh my god, the pathing. Horrible. Dude, no freaking way. Well, there's a guy, like, in these bushes that I can't even see, but something tells me he's going to, like, straight up engage me. i throw a smoke right there. No, why did everybody throw a smoke grenade? Throw grenades over there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go, get up there, throw that nade! He got shot through smoke. Okay. Something about that just tells me that's kind of weird. All right, he was in the middle of a giant smoke cloud and still got shot. That's cool. Well, everybody and their mother's about to go throw grenades. that keep walking into smoke keep getting shot I'm gonna throw like a demo charge right here how are you shooting how is he even shooting dude what do you possibly see right here what could you possibly see what what could you possibly th see through all those bushes we have one guy two guys left Three guys left. Got it, sir. Dude, the AI is literally shooting through bushes. Why? Absolutely why. Again, my guys just straight up engaged through these bushes. Again, how, how was I being engaged through here again? How? Do we have thermals or is somebody using a thermal? How am I being shot through all this foliage? How could you possibly see them? Bro, what is this? Wow, now we're taking Spetsnats out. Okay. I didn't know Spetsnats was a thing in World War II, but I guess... Was it?
Spetsnaz was formed in 1949. Okay. A little after World War II there. Way to go. Minute War. So we gotta go take out this artillery. Or actually, let's go over here to this radio station first. Look at him go! Because I can't. I do have a throwing knife. And I have... What's what's this? Camouflage position. What the fuck? Hey, you just built a bush around you? What is this? No, what? Why did I shoot? Why did I shoot? Oh my god. I'm... I clicked the throwing knife. <laughs> well, I guess I overrode it. Would you like to throw a smoke grenade, sir? Throw a smoke grenade. There we go. Well, they didn't react to that at all. Like, at all. Throw a grenade over the building. Oh, they reacted to that. What the hell was that stutter step stuff they did? Quick. Throw a grenade at that thing! Why he threw a grenade at this? Th th Why? He literally threw a grenade at everyone else. Well, I kind of wanted to do multiplayer and see if that got better, but an estimated wait time of 10 minutes is kind of ridiculous. Not gonna lie. So, eh, it's gonna be a little while. Hope it's worth it. Oh, is that some infantry there? Holy crap. What the hell was that? I'm gonna back off. Ooh. Send them this way. Oh shit. Uh, go prone. Go prone. Get low, guys. Jawohl. Verstanden. Oh, I'm going to throw a grenade in that trench there. How are they shooting at me through the smoke? Shoot him! Okay, it's good. Let's just push, push it, push it, push it. Getting shot through smoke. Still getting shot through smoke. Yep. Amazing. All right. So after playing the first multiplayer test, which I wasn't happy with, and now playing the campaign that they've given off, I'm, I'm pretty solid on that this game series is dead to me. Um, I know that's a bit harsh, but I'm going to tell you why. Um, this is the new, new Men of War 2, man. The new, the new. There's no innovation. It's, it hasn't fixed any of the issues that have been around for a while with Men of War. Um, simple stuff like cover, concealment, or non-existent, but majority of RTS games have that where, you know, foliage blocks, side, like sight lines and things like that. That doesn't exist in this game. It's a step backwards. It doesn't innovate. 
graphically, it, it's kind of the same thing. It barely looks any different. Um, I actually think the older Men of War Assault Squad 2 looks better. Um, and I feel like it's just marketed towards like the multiplayer. Like that's what they're trying to the, really the focus on in is the multiplayer. And you know, uh, I'm pretty sure Ten Cent's involved in this. I, I'm don't quote me. I'm pretty sure. I have Ten Cent's involved in everything nowadays. So it's like that, I feel like that's the big push. Is they want multiplayer. They want people to keep coming back to the game, try to monetize it in some way, shape, or form. But like, dude, this is this sucks. Like I went from being super excited to one play test like all right let's see what happens to this play test like i'm probably not even gonna buy this like i probably won't buy it unless unless you know i'll buy it if the modders come in and like they always do with the with the men of war series the modders come in and fix this stuff and make it better i'll buy the game but as of right now this the series is dead to me honestly like this is what two world war ii rts games this year that have both sucked like i i just don't know why we as gamers keep letting this shit fly. You know what I mean? Like, they take the games and genres and series that we love and just shit on them right in front of us. And they're like, that'll be $75, please. You know, fuck that. Fuck that shit. This is this sucks. This game sucks. Why don't you waste your money? God, I mean, just wait for Broken Arrow or something. You know, I, I just don't understand. This game series is dead to me. That's all I can say. If you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments below. If you somehow think this is amazing, I, I really want to hear why you think that. So let me know down in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.